Hey guys and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'll be talking about a more serious subject uh, which is how to see whether a shirt is real or fake. Especially nowadays the fake shirts are becoming even more realistic and it's harder to differentiate a real shirt from a fake shirt. Um, and you can get screwed very bad, uh, especially with, uh, with more than modern shirts. It's very hard, but uh, fortunately there are two conclusive ways uh, onto telling whether a shirt is real or not. And I'll show you them today, especially with the Adidas shirts. So my first uh, tip will be looking at the tags that are attached to the shirt. So right here I have two uh, football shirts. I have a Bayern Munich one and a Real Madrid one. They both do have the text still attached, but one of them is fake and one of them is authentic. So up to you guys to spot which one is real and which one is fake. Yeah, kind of hard to tell, right? I know, I know, I know. Um, I'm going to tell you real quick and that's by just looking at the text. So what you want to do is just turn around the text and it will show you. Let's make sure this one is out of the way. It will show you this. You know, you have the barcode, the sizing, some sticker uh, and right here, barcode. Sizing, no sticker, hmm, no sticker, that's strange. Uh, well, yeah, that's true because this one is fake. I don't know if the fact that there isn't a sticker on this one does mean that it's fake, but I can tell you really quick how to spot it. So we'll just have a look at this, for example. Notice anything? Just read this, Adidas JSY, which stands for Adidas Jersey. Um, well, let me tell you one thing, an official authentic tag, which is attached to an official authentic shirt will always give a reference to the club or country and the type of shirt. Let me show you. Right here I do have the authentic Bayern Munich one and it says FCB HJSY. The FCB is a reference to Bayern Munich. The H stands for home and when this uh, was an away kit it would say A or maybe a third kit something like that. It will always give you a reference to the club or country the type of shirt, a home shirt in this case, and then JSY. Let me show another example. Right here, I do have a Belgium shirt from 2018. And once again, you can see this is an official one because it says RBFA, which I think stands for Royal Belgian Football Association, or in French, maybe Royal Belgique Football Association. The H, home, once again, JSY. So whenever a shirt says Adidas JSY, it should give you a red flag because it's a sign that the shirt is, well, 90%, uh, you can be 90% sure that the shirt is fake. Okay, so that concludes the text of the shirt. And I, uh, I know you're wondering, well, uh, whenever the texts are still attached to the shirt, uh, most of the times you're buying it at a, at a well-known store, uh, which sells authentic items like a pair of sports, a JD, stuff like that. Um, so what do we do when the texts aren't attached anymore? Well, there's another way, and those are called product codes. Yeah, so allow me to explain in a bit more detail. Product codes are actually codes which are attached to the inside of the shirt. Uh, they are a sequence of uh, numbers and letters, and they'll make up a unique code which is unique to the shirt. Uh, so let me show you guys how you can use those product codes to check whether your shirt is real or not. So. The thing with Adidas jerseys is that they have a product code. This code is unique to the shirt and only the shirt uh, that you're buying uh, has that code. The code is located either right here in the upper left shoulder on the inside or right here underneath the washing label. But in this case, it's located right here. So I've grabbed myself the tag and as you guys can see, there are a lot of uh, numbers and letters. The first row, the 02 slash 20, stands for the month and year of production. So February 2020. The second row is the most important one. The one that states FR8358. Please remember this code because we're going to be Google image searching it very, very soon. And the ugly fake Real Madrid shirt has a product code as well. Three slash 19 stands for uh, March 2019. And the second row, once again, is the most important one. It states CW1526. Uh, I know you're wondering, 
why does a fake shirt still have a product code? Well, allow me to show you guys. Uh, but for that, I have to use my laptop. So see you guys in a bit. Okay, and by the way, I will show you the product code, the EJ8546, uh, the code of the Belgium shirt as well, which is right here, the same one, EJ8546. EJ, uh, I will show him show it as well just to prove the theory so as you guys can see i'm on google right now and what i will do is i will google image search the product codes i will start off with the belgian one just a j uh eight five four six uh, i will just put adidas in front this always helps to find the correct search so we so you will type adidas and then the product code just press enter and I'll go to images, so just to make it a little bit easier. And there you go, there you have a lot of images of the shirt um, that you're looking for. So this proves to me that it's an authentic shirt. I did buy it at an official Adidas store, so you know, uh, I could have known already. But just to be sure, just imagine I bought it, this shirt at a, I don't know, at a flea market, and I would like to check uh, whether it's authentic or not. Uh, I just did. It also links you to like a lot of different uh, stores, footballshop.nl, Pulo Sports, Zalando, I saw Paul.com right here. These are all genuine sellers, I mean even Adidas as well. Yeah, these are all genuine sellers who will sell you the authentic shirt, so that's also, you know, some extra proof that it's a genuine shirt. Uh, but there is a catch, because uh, the older a shirt gets, uh, uh, the less it's getting sold on uh, on these genuine sites because they will, you know, uh, kick it out of their collection after five years. So when you can't find a genuine seller, uh, you know, selling or offering you the item, it doesn't mean that it's fake. It just doesn't, it just does mean uh, that they don't sell it anymore. Um, but yeah, for me, the fact that it returns a lot of pictures of the same shirt, uh, that is uh, concrete evidence that the shirt is real. So let's try the Real Madrid one. CW, I already Googled this as you can see, um, because it was the shirt that I got in the uh, job lot video. So I already Googled this product code. I will press enter and I'll, okay. Well, as I did expect, uh, it shows me images of a Colombian home shirt from 2018. Uh, Ajax training top or sweater. This is an AC Milan uh, shirt, Arsenal, like even shoes. Um, this proves to me that the shirt is fake. I mean, I'm not even getting images uh, that look like uh, the shirt or like other Real Madrid clothing. No, it's th this proves to me that it's fake. It just gives me some random images of uh, Adidas, uh, of Adidas stuff. Um, don't even think that these are Adidas. Oh, they, they are Adidas shoes. Okay, okay. Uh, it just gives you images of random Adidas stuff. So that proves to me that the shirt is fake. Uh, and just to prove my theory, I will Google image search the product code of the FC Bayern Munich shirt as well. FR, um, let's have a look, 8358. Google this one as well uh, before. And this shows me that the shirt is still available. Um, as you can see, there are a bit less shops offering it because uh, this shirt is one year older than the Belgium one. Um, so you can see that there are like uh, less shops offering the shirt. Adidas has it. So that proves to me that's, uh, that the shirt, the Bayern Munich one, is, uh, is authentic as well. Uh, right here, a lot of images of this shirt. And that proves to me that the shirt is authentic. So that concludes today's video. I hope uh, you've learned something about this, um, about seeing whether a football shirt is authentic or not. Uh, and then again, my biggest advice is just to, you know, when something's up, when you feel something in your gut, um, just don't buy it. When you don't trust an, an advertisement or you don't trust the information a seller provides you, just do not buy it. And otherwise always ask for product codes or some pictures of the tags when they're still attached. Um, <clears throat> so you don't make the mistake of buying a fake shirt for way too much money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see some more videos like this. I'm going to be making some more videos on uh, other brands uh, like Nike, Kappa, Puma as well. Uh, so make sure you subscribe down below. 
hit that bell notification show you the first one to uh, see my new videos. Uh, comment down below what you think and if you have other advices for other uh, sellers, maybe uh, we can help each other out. But for now, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.